World Congress of Overseas Pakistan is one, is one of the key supporters of uh, today's conference, which is actually to make Pakistan the power hub in IT. And we have the privilege of having uh, Minister for Information Technology from Pakistan, um, Mr. Anusha Rahman. Uh, would you kindly share how you felt about today's conference and uh, what message you have for those who want to invest in Pakistan? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I'm extremely privileged to be invited to showcase to the partners here in UK and EU about the Pakistan as a digital destination for the world. Uh, we have worked in the last three and a half years under the leadership of the Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif on digital Pakistan. And the vision and mission is very clear, that we are going to convert Pakistan into a destination of choice when it comes to software development, when it comes to using the human resource capital from Pakistan to do service delivery in IT and ITES, IT and IT-enabled services. And on top of that, uh, the infrastructure, which is the e-highway, has been the major focus of Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. So what we are doing is we are connecting the unconnected. Prime Minister believes that everybody, every citizen of Pakistan has, should have an equal opportunity to use the digital or digital services for socio-economic development. And working on that roadmap, we, ha we are connecting every single village which has a hundred population and no connectivity with a uh, communication network in the form of 3G. So by end of 2018, we expect that the entire country will be connected. All the pro projects are rolled except two, and we are going to roll the next two by June. Excellent. On, to on top of that, we are training uh, youngsters in uh, freelancing. Pakistan is ranked as number fourth in freelancing. Pakistan Software Expert Board, uh, with their website is easily accessible, has a database of 1,200 plus IT companies, and their competence and expertise are laid out on the Software uh, Technology Board platform, which can be accessed for any work that anybody from UK or any part of the world would want to have taken. So Pakistan is a country where we have a 200 million plus population, of which 60% is younger than 30. We are, we are uh, producing around 20,000 plus kids in the ICT disciplines, and we are doing in, uh, internship plus freelancers training to them so that they can be better professionals uh, and adopting different in, and entrepreneurship fields. Then we are setting up incubation centers. We've already set up one in Islamabad. Three, four more are on the way. And with expertise also in FinTech, uh, artificial intelligence, robotics, and so on. So uh, recently, just last week in Barcelona, the five companies which are competing in 4x4N, uh, one of the top uh, uh, child was from the National Incubation Center in Islamabad. So we have a lot of good stories from Pakistan. Pakistan would very much want to be part of the, this trilateral arrangement between UK, EU, uh, Pakistan as being partner for, would love to become a partner for providing uh, services uh, in the software sector. Uh, this opportunity of English-speaking country with 100% repatriation of capital and with a tax-free holiday extended till 2019 uh, also provides an opportunity for companies to set up their software houses in Pakistan. Not only that, uh, they will have a good environment to work in. I think in the, in the technology park that we are making will be complete in two years. They will have very good working environment as well. Excellent. Congratulations on sharing all the brilliant news. Thank you.